Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the new game Monster Crown. This is just a demo. I became a backer on the Kickstarter just earlier today specifically so I could get access to this demo because the game looks really damn cool. Think Pokemon, but instead of like evolving, you breed different monsters together to create a new monster. There might still be evolution, I don't know about that, but I think it's strictly about the, the cross-breeding stuff. S select what the shit there we go <laughs> something I clicked worked you shall be ours our new messiah me I really hope someone's worshiping me that'd be dope what is your name well I am the Grammy 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 that's good good enough for me which of these best suits you he oh very forward-thinking game, including the they. I do go by he. What do you look like? <laughs> I, it seems weird to just uh, press left and right to decide on looks. It's just like such a quick way to go through different looks. I wish I could just swipe through different hairdos to figure it out. Audio is good? Right on. You can still hear the music, at least some. It's not totally gone now that I lowered it. I do kind of like the swoopy side hair there, and the spiky hair. The spiky hair is just like Pokemon, though. It makes me feel like I'm largely playing Pokemon. What color do I like? <laughs> uh, are you allowed to say whether or not you like a skin color? I feel like you could get in trouble for that. Ooh, I do kind of like that like maroony purple color. Orange? Orange is probably my favorite color overall, though, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. It wasn't strictly... A skin color thing there but that was borderline now you, you watch yourself monster crown and the people had been through enough together they rose to tear down the old world and build it anew jamming out to these tunes here there we go oh my goodness the it, it's exactly blocked for like the size of me Literally, like, when I you just tap left or right, you move one whole block over the way you would in, like, Pokemon Red and Blue. That might have been a Gold and Silver thing as well, but, you know, in future games, it was like you could move as, like, tiny pixel by pixel. This is like you move in blocks. That immediately makes me think so much of Pokemon in, like, the best way possible, and I love it. And I don't seem to be able to interact with that diary at all. Take a few moments and no, just want to make sure that I could interact with things. Mother, good morning, Grammy. <laughs> I already forgot that I named myself that. That's so stupid. Are you rested up for the day? Why don't you go outside and see what your father wants? Well, I want monsters. I Do I just call them monsters? They don't have a cool specialty name like Pocket Monsters or Pokemon or, or anything. Or Digimon. The Monster Rancher monsters are just called monsters, I think. I don't know that. I used to watch that TV show quite a bit, but I don't actually know it that well. Is this him? Dad, good to see you. Familiar looking dad. I knew exactly what you looked like. There you are. Did mom finally wake you? Hope you're rested up. We need to clear that new field to the southeast and start laying seed. If we don't do it this week, the crops won't have time to grow by harvest. Go to the field, pick up the pumpkins, and feed them to Tidon. Grammy, then <laughs> come back and let me know you got it done. Is Tidon a monster? This little plant. Weird, I can't... There was like a weird thing there where I can't click right to face the plant. There was a weird specific thing for that one plant. Uh, okay, I'm going southeast, Dad. Come over here before you leave. Ah, are you gonna give me, give me a monster? There you are, did Mom... Well, well, yeah, I already did that. To the southeast, you said, I thought. So that's not where I'm going? Y you sure you got your directions right there, Pop? I'm not sure if I trust you entirely right now. Just standing outside, staring off into the distance at nothing in particular, waiting for your son to wake up to make him do the chores. You're not actually planning to do any of it yourself. I'm suspicious. You probably Maybe I just have to head straight south here. <laughs> ah, yes, there we go. Ooh, this looks like a little tiger cat critter. Hmm. Might not be able to interact with anything. This is definitely southwest, isn't it? I think that is perhaps incorrect. Uh, oh, you must be Tidon then. There you go. Keep keep eating it. 
eat up your pumpkin. You have to click it multiple times to make him like take every individual bite, which is super adorable. And I hope you're happy, you little tiger mouse critter. And now dad will be so proud of me. Such a good work ethic I have. And such a fat little f monster friend we have. Got it done? Wait. wait. What are, are we harvesting those pumpkins specifically just to feed that one animal? We didn't want to save any of those for ourselves or to like sell or anything like that? Strange existence we leave. I think you're a poor ranch manager there, Dad. We're not going to get very far if you feed everything to that one guy. Now that we've cleared the field, we need some good raw forest to prepare it for planting. We'll use a cart to soften it up. But that's no job for humans. <laughs> we need to come tame some monsters and make them do it. This is, I feel like in Pokemon, it was, you know, the Pokemon fought for you and did things for you. They had Tauroses that pulled carts and stuff, but then they had like this weird loving relationship. Dad's laying it down like, fuck that, that's not human work. Monsters can do that. Real brute to get it done properly. So Grammy, think you could handle being a monster tamer? Yeah, that's literally all I want. Yes, great. First off, a monster will want nothing to do with someone like you. <laughs> Is it because I'm orange? Is it because I picked the orange? I knew that was the wrong color. Not unless you have something to give it in return. Why the fuck did you make me give every single pumpkin to the one guy then? I could have spread out the pumpkins and then I'd be way better off. Monsters vie for power, territory, food. That's just scraping the surface. You're going to need some contracts to convince them to join you. They'll understand it well enough to either accept or decline. These monsters understand, like, contracts? How legally binding is this? And from there, you'll either have them join you or, well... Will they fucking murder me if they d don't join me? They're monsters. Are they going to eat me or some shit? What the hell? Why don't you give it a try? Ooh, do I get to pick a starter? Enemy Rodask. What the shit? I don't want Tidon to be my starting Pokemon. Welcome to Monster Battle. Let me show you around. Uh, this here is the kill bar. If it reaches the top, your monster is out. Was it really necessary to, like, do the opposite of the health bar in Pokemon? Just to, like, make it different? It doesn't seem like... It seems like you could have just left it. This is where you can choose actions. And this is the synergy bar. As you swap monsters, you'll build when, when you finally attack. The bar is depleted. I kind of read that poorly. Unleashing a huge power. For now, let's attack. Rodask is weak to swipe. Weak to swipe, so use use swipe. Yes, that seems... I want this thing more so than my thing. Uh, I just have like a weird misshapen body and it, it, he's mostly head. This thing looks like he's got a nice durable face mask and also he's really primed, primed for an attack or something. This must be getting made for like mobile support or whatever because the way that the layout is and everything feels very mobile friendly. You really nailed him! If you want to do heavy damage, you can build up synergy. Right now, we only have Tidon. So I'll give you some synergy. Oh, that is what he meant about swapping out. I did understand it when I read it. Now attack him again, and uh, just keep using swipe, right? There, okay, he's, he's going first. I guess we're both just using swipes, though. Now that's some serious damage. From here, you could finish him. Or you could use the other option. The o oh, offer. <laughs> offer him a contract and add him to your team. Go on, try to recruit him. Does it really, it doesn't feel like a very willful recruitment. It seems like I beat him to a bloody pulp and then was like, do you want to join me? This is so strange. He scoffed at the contract. Well, you little bitch. I, fine then, you'll die. <laughs> is that what you wanted, Rodask? Looks like he isn't very impressed by Tidon. It's important that a monster can see that you can raise powerful monsters. Ideally, you want to be a few levels higher than them. Now that you've got a grasp for the basics, I've got a mission for you. It makes it seem like these monsters like crave subjugation. It's like, yes, I want to be tamed, but only by the best. You're a natural. That's as far as we're, we're not actually going to finish capturing. I'll let you borrow my Tidon. Just be careful with him. He's got a nasty bite, and he's not quite as tame as he could be. Got Tidon. Go out to the road and find me the biggest, toughest Primagon you can to plow those fields. If you tame anything else, we'll have to release it. Oh, that's a shame. 
That's fun that this guy's gonna follow me around, though. I do like that. What the shit, though? You guys don't have a Primadon, like, on hand that you continually use? You didn't tame one once and then keep it on the farm? Maybe you just it's easier to release it every time you're done with it rather than continue feeding it? And then you just go get a new one when you need it when you need a cart pushed again. Hopefully I picked the right thing. This guy, he looks like he would be good at pushing a cart. He he looks like he'd be a Primadon. Primagon. I think he's also the guy in the thumbnail. I just picked random things to be in the thumbnail for this video. The 10 and 1. Am I level 10? Seems like I'm a much, much higher level than this thing, and I'm gonna kick its ass. Uh he's been destroyed! Things don't fate in this game, they get destroyed? Jesus Christ. Participating monsters gain two experience. I didn't want to destroy him. I feel really, really bad about that. Oh, what is this? It looked kind of like a Vulpix or something and had a little swishy tail. Mm, no closer to like a sand shrew. I see, crit. Uh, I think I'll just kill it. I no, There's no point contracting it out, right? So you might as well just get the experience. Uh, I guess next time I find a Prime Madon, I'm just gonna immediately offer him a contract because weakening it. Oh crap. Weakening him's not really gonna do much of anything considering he's already nine levels lower. That guy just ran across the fence. I guess. I guess I can engage. Maybe he's coming from a later area. Maybe it'll be a higher level. Nope, he's still just, uh, he's still the same. He's considering it and he accepted. Nice, quick, easy acceptance. Thank you. Do you get experience for that? Mm. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm just sipping on a tasty homebrew. Me and some buddies brewed some beer a little while back. It's uh, Andy and Alex. We played uh, Flashpoint on the channel here together. That I brewed the beer with. <laughs> well, you got a big, strong one. He's only level one. He was kind of a pushover. He just signed the contract immediately. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. Since you did a great job today, last week when I made that trip into Charity Kingdom, I brought you a comic book. <laughs> Why don't you take a break for now? Maybe give it a read. I was hoping he'd give me my starting monster. Oh, don't forget to check the back cover. There's something there I want you to see. Is it something about recruiting your starter? Because that's, that's what I'm really looking for here. The comic is interesting and enjoyable, but it's not the first issue, so the story is hard to follow. On the back cover, you find a personality quiz. Answer these questions and mail it in with one gold to win your very own monster. They really just... Monsters have a weird relationship in this world. They're kind of like slaves. They kind of seem to like it. They get traded around for very dirt cheap. Let me let me see. Let me... I'm. I'm interested because this feels like I'm not going to directly pick. Like, it won't show me three and then be like, which one do you think looks the coolest? This or this is like personality quiz is going to pick for me? I think that's kind of fun, for, especially for a new game like this where no one's going to be familiar with the starters at all. You're participating in a 5K race. What do you do? Strive to beat the competition, never give up, trip up your rival, set up dangerous traps, ditch it, and do something else. Well, I'm probably not going to win. I've done a 5k before. It was, it's fun. I'm probably not going to get... I'm not going to win it. I just won't give up, I suppose. When it comes to music, you prefer... Hmm. Punk. Oh, nice. Punk is an option. Definitely punk, then. For a hobby, I prefer... Playing mind games. Getting into fights. Playing chess. Exercising. Messing with others online. Uh, well, none of those, really. Exercising, I guess, is the closest thing. Time to mail it in and see what happens. I thought it would be a few more questions than that. I wonder how, what, like, the pool of starters could possibly be here. Yeah! Alarm going off. Exciting. Let's go see what shit we scored. This is really intense. I'm really fired up about it. It's time to wake. Oh, good morning. What's with the expression? Oh, today is... Is you're expecting you to monster in? The mail, aren't you? God damn it, I have to start looking for punctuation so I stop cutting myself off in weird ways. I wish you would have asked me before you sent that. It sounds like an awful lot, like a, like a scam. Don't feel bad, Grammy. We all fall for things at times. 
Thanks, Mother. Thanks for the faith before finding out whether or not it actually worked out or not. When I was a girl, I sent money into a sweepstakes for x-ray glasses, but they never came. Now why don't you go see if your father... Knock, 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 says the door. <laughs> Grammy, you better hurry out here. I don't think this cage is going to hold much longer. Jesus Christ. Do I still have to tame this thing, even though it got mailed to me? Probably. Uh, yes, you young man. You you sure that Grammy's old enough to handle this? Uh, of course, Grammy's already 14. That's plenty old enough. Aren't Pokemon trainers like 10 or whatever? If they can get started at 10, we can get started at 14. That's way old. He's a past due. Ah, uh, well, it came with all the appropriate paper, pa appropriate paperwork, I suppose. Just sign here and tick off the type of monster next to it for records, okay? So, do I choose or not? No, this is it, right? Oh, I do choose. So maybe... What the hell was the personality type thing? Did that affect the pool of things that showed up here? I have no idea. The Hoopla! <laughs> I like that, because it's like, it's a stupid looking creature, but isn't it like Hoopla? Hoopla is like a, a, a big uproar or whatever. Uh, the Knight, it's just like a weird raccoon dog. Ambigu is recommended for you. Oh, interesting that they have a recommendation. That's how this works. Oh, I did not know there was a more, one more thing down there. What the shit? Dracoil seems cool as shit. He seems like my favorite one. He's like a weird little gremlin thing. But Ambigu is unstable, and he is part ditto, part, like, weird ice cube. If, uh, it seems like a fucking stupid monster. <laughs> it's ugly as shit, but the game thinks this is gonna be the one I'll enjoy the best, and I guess Ambigu is what I'm gonna get. Ah, uh, look at this <laughs> one. It must be a first level. Look at this pile of shit on the floor. This is the worst looking Pokemon or monster I've ever seen. <laughs> I've never seen one like this before. Looks a lot worse than any monster I've ever seen. I can't even tell what type it is. Unstable? Brute? No, it's definitely relentless. I think it was unstable. Well, Grammy, you're off to hook from farming today. Oh, so the brute and relentless or whatever, all those, that's like instead of grass and dark and stuff. Why don't you spend some time training your new monster and seeing how it grows? Go fight some of the monsters outside the farm and come talk to me when your new buddy here is a bit stronger. I might have a, a job for a young monster tamer who shows some potential. Dope, I'm all on it, Dad. I'll go smother some monsters to death using my big pile of goop if you insist. Seems seems like a fun task to me. I'm I'm up to it. Let's see now. Probably just probably where he just originally sent me out before. I think my guy's probably only going to be level one, right? Man, I should have picked Dracoil. He was so cool. But it just is funny as hell to me to have, like, the dumpiest looking monster that there possibly could ever be. Oh. Do I have to go talk to him right now? There's, no, there's nothing hanging around here to fight at the moment. So I need some, some monsters to show up. Hey, you there! Get out! You stupid, dumb piece of shit, what a terrible place to spawn! I can't do anything about that. Hopefully when I get out of this, that'll be available. Do I have... Oh uh, yeah, I do still have like 99 contracts, which I guess maybe that's just part of the demo that it gives you so, so many. This thing looks pretty boring. I think I'll just slime slap it and kill it, perhaps. Whoa, I'm level 5? Wow, he really ruined that thing. I didn't I didn't realize I was so much higher of a level. I didn't realize I would be so strong already. That's dope. So, keep in mind the like major huge hook of this game is the crossbreeding thing. Starting at level 6, I'm allowed to start crossbreeding. That was totally something that I looked up because I was I wanted to know a little bit about the game before starting. Just a little bit, just that I wasn't totally clueless. Hmm. Seemed like there was potential for some secrets hidden there. Uh, I should try and catch a few things though, because I don't want to crossbreed my starter, I don't think. Or I want to be really, really careful about who I crossbreed him with, because just for the demo, you actually. It, it, it uses up the parents, 
uh, in the in the final game, I think it's gonna be set up in a way that you keep the parents and they instead breed an egg, but that's not currently a part of the game. And so I do want to be very choosy about what I what I breed. I'm not speculating on that. That is something that I did read. The game came to read me, and it was like, yeah, you'll lose any monsters you try and breed. So careful with that. Come on, the monster frequency needs to be a little higher maybe later in the game I'm not gonna want higher but for right now I would like to run into something what do you have to say dad what what can, are you gonna let me advance to the further away thing yet is your monster doing well I think you could use some more training I'm not confident in it quite yet be sure to rest in your bed if you get exhausted back out we go then I guess oh and I just, so there's that whole thing about the synergy, about swapping, swapping out your monsters in battle to, to up the synergy to do more damage. And when it dishes out experience, it specifically says experience for everything that participated. And so that'll be important as well, is to make sure you're allowing multiple things to participate. Because it's basically like having a built-in experience share. Oh, level four. Uh, yeah, I'll probably try and contract this guy. Let me see how much damage I do. Wow, who would have guessed that I was so strong? Could be, could be that, uh, the Primagon is weak to whatever Ambig... Blob. Ambigus. Ambigoop. Don't remember what my guy's name is. He... yeah, he could have just been weak to that. Let's look, take a look at Ambigu. Uh, yeah, so he's like a goop. He's a goop of ambiguity. So that's it's a, it's an accurate name. Get over here, dog. Yes. <laughs> Managed to rope in this laz. Animals can just come from anywhere. Oh shit, I am level six now. I should probably try and just uh, contract some things now. There's also a chance I'm considered strong enough to advance now. Dad, dad might have just been waiting for me to go up one level. So I'll check with him. He looks like he's looking over this way. That might be from before. Wow, that monster's already getting tougher. Now, Grammy, are you aware of how trade relationships work? We have to maintain a good standing with other towns to get access to things we need. Food, oil, that sort of thing. I don't think you understand trade relations. You're just feeding, like, three pumpkins at a time to a stupid monster that doesn't do anything. Uh, economics aside, it's customary to give gifts to the king to show goodwill. We're pretty far from all three kingdoms, but I'd like to get into the good books of the closest one, at least. I'd like you to be the one to deliver the gift. On the way home last week, I stopped in with an old friend of mine. He's a fisherman, and he offered me a beautiful pearl he found way out at sea. Why didn't he take it to the king? Maybe he just... That's a little bit of internal trading, helping each other out. Take a look at it, won't you? Wow! I'd like you to take this to humanism kingdom. <laughs> Is there also a monsterism and then like an inad inanimate objectism kingdom? And deliver it directly to King Tina. I just know it'll make a good impression. Along the way, it'll be a great opportunity for you to train your monster and find some new ones to tame. I know it's scary leaving home. I wouldn't ask you if I didn't think you could handle it. Your mom and I will always be here for you if you get hurt. You're showing quite a bit of talent as a tamer and I know that's what you've always wanted to do. I'll be here. I'll be. I'll. I'll have fun. <laughs> here, take a few <laughs> more contracts for the road. Normal contract times five. Got so many of them now. Call me from the general store in Milltown when you get there. Okay? I'm sure you'll be fine. But I'm still your dad after all. Oh, I almost forgot. You can now use the breeding facility in the barn. It's on the east side of the farm. I still don't trust that you know what east is. Hey there, kid. How's. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Good, I got away. Got away from it before that turned into an endless, endless chain <laughs> conversation that I couldn't escape. Yeah, Primadon. Give me, a, give me a Primadon. I want, I want some shit to breed together. I'm gonna kill this one though. Whatever. I'll get, I'll get stronger, and then it'll just be easier. Whatever the next one I, I, I pick up will be easier. I wanna. I, I'm most curious about the cross breeding thing so I might as well just try and grab two like the first two different monster types I come across and then immediately try and breed them right 
I mentioned that I was streaming this in in the Discord before coming here, and Ally B Mac, cool channel, check her out. Was like, ah, I gotta breed them all, hey? Weird, accurate, but weird. What is going on over here? Are these guys mafiosos, or are they like <laughs> Jewish? Like, it looks like they're wearing, ah, oh, man, there's like rabbi, rabbi hats. I think. They look more like mafia people than anything, though. Oh, this is the this is the thing that I uh, first fought. Ruse Dask, Rodask. <laughs> I could not remember what the hell it was called. Ah, that, oh, cool. So every battle you choose your starter, you don't have to have him like queued up specifically. I, I'm just gonna immediately make him an offer just to see if I can grab this thing. He accepted. Nice and nice and quick and easy for me then. All right. Cool, now, now you get to see the, the list of participation there. Hand, handing out participation medals to my monsters. Thanks for taking part, guys. Glad to, glad to have ya. Glad, thanks for, thanks for showing up. No effort required beyond that. That's what makes me most happy. Ah, ah. <laughs> I give myself some options here. Maybe I can pick up two different things. I'll have two cross combos to make. I don't know if I've found anything that I think is like the coolest yet. Like, I'm gonna have to find like a pretty damn cool monster before I'm willing to cross my ambiguity with it. Is the handbook my creations? Okay, I was more, more considering uh, whether or not there would be like a Pokedex style thing that showed what I had encountered, not just what I had bred. Ah, oh, this is the barn. Another thing, there's the net battle there. I don't know if it's in the demo or not, but the game is gonna have like online battle modes. So that could be a lot of fun. I would look forward to having that in the game. Farm, what the hell? Well, let's breed first. Primary, oh man. Would it be different if I chose them in a different order? These guys both have like bone faces, so I don't think I would want to breed them. These are the first two I came across, so let's do these. Uh, do you know what? Well, let's check. First, let's check. Uh, back. He's only level one. He's an unstable. And this guy's level three. He is a relentless. I think I want to select him as the primary, though, because he's the higher level, and I just maybe that'll make a difference and we'll get the laz in there and breed them let's see what we get from that a weird stone duck he's doing like a like a chicken arm thing rhoda wow you sure came out kind of lame rhoda oh <laughs> whoops okay <laughs> i started to accidentally i'm clicking Z to move on i accidentally almost named him ken can I just chain together breedings? What the hell? How deep can you go with this? Oh my god. Oh my god, what are the limits of of breeding in this game? Re rogo. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I ha I think I still have an old sketchbook somewhere where I drew out a game that basically had this concept. I, I came up with like 15 or like 10? 10, 10 starting Pokemon and then combinations of how they would crossbreed and it was like a whole idea. I, I did it when I was like 16 or something and immediately I was like, well this would be way too complicated. Where do you cut off what can and can't breed? Like it was fun. It was a fun exercise in like little designs or whatever. Most of them just ended up looking like existing Pokemon though. But what? The hell? Oh, I could I could leave guys. That's like depositing them would be at the farm, I suppose. But what? What are the limits? I'm so I'm so blown away right now by the potential of this game. You do go down level one, don't you? He has swipe, spore shot, and swipe again. <laughs> Okay, so he, he picks up moves based on what his, like, mom and dad was. Is he using the face of that one guy as a shield? He also has, like, little hooves. He looks like kind of a weird, shaggy, bulky 
dog creature? I don't know, he looks kind of neat. What if I make him the leader and then just like swap him out as soon as I get into a battle? Just to help him level up? I want him taking part in the battles for that. Does he look like the Primadon when he's like in the above world mode then? It would be absurd if all of these guys also have above world variations as well. The potential depth of this game is insane. It is different. It's totally different. But that also, it looked less like he was carrying around a shield then. No, I think that's still the case. He's got a little nose up front there, and you can see like a separate eyeball there. Alright, let's swap you out immediately. And you, Ambiguity, you can take like a tiny little bit of damage. That's fine, because you'll be able to win this no problem. Ooh, it was extra vicious because I did a swap. Oh, I still managed to get an attack out. Now let's see. Let's see. Four experience for a level one thing should be huge, right? Is it just like one, two, three, four there? Is he going to go all the way up? Nice, got him to level two. Well, we're... You and me, random guy, we're going to the top. Random monster that I'm unlikely to remember what your name is. We're gonna go far, kid. Hey, we're heading right up to where those, like, mafia dudes were hanging out. Probably shouldn't deal with that. Hey, they are gangster men. Seems like we maybe shouldn't get involved with this so, so early, but whatever. Man, those thugs have nothing on us. We own these streets. They ain't got no class, neither. Bumming around like they do. Those guys are out for themselves. We help the little people. What do we get? Fine cigars, a soft bed, all the luxuries of life. That's real charity right there. You think the boss is in good with one of the kings for stuff like this? He's gotta be. Ain't no one got a squeaky clean image like the kings do without something shady going on. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we've got a shadow. Keep it down. They kick me out. He just repeated himself there. Ah, oh, crap. Who knows what he's heard? You kidding all you guys going on about been pointless drivel? Don't get your boxers in a bunch. We still don't need some kid missing with us. Huh. Well, I'm glad they didn't mess me up or anything. That All they did was run away. I will immediately follow them and see what we can't uncover. It makes me not want to fight monsters in this game. It makes me just want to try and like capture as many as possible for the sake of of crossbreeding like crazy live streams on the mobile website are weird in which way oh shit did he just do like an insane amount of damage to me hmm i was not expecting him <laughs> to do quite quite so much like that probably is stacking from the previous battle the live stream is it just because you can't see everything on the screen or is it hopefully it's not crazy laggy or anything okay I should probably I should probably go back and do a heal it's so so far away though Ugh. I didn't want to have to walk all the way back to the house maybe I could have pushed on further and and found a place to heal sooner Man, this game drastically dramatically needs like an option for running or something because this is ridiculous maybe i can run into something random though to contract <laughs> and then try and try and do some cross breeding what if you breathe like a primagon and a primagon it probably just makes another primagon right i'm sending him out strictly for the sake of doing a contract he accepted sweet I just try and contract a couple things on the way back should set us up to be slightly better off. Oh, wait, no. Before I crossbred Rodask with with uh, Lago, whatever that little dog thing was. So breeding it with the Primadon would be different. I'd probably end up with like a pretty similar, pretty similar critter overall, though. Oh, do you know what? This thing trailing behind me, the Rogio or whatever, looks like the Rodask. Doesn't look like the Primadon, looks like the Rodask. Oh, that just disappeared when I got close. If I talk to Mom, will she let me rest or do I go up to bed? Good morning! 
No, oh, okay. You're not gonna wonder what I've been up to, where I've been, why why I'm coming back, why I apparently stayed out all night. Maybe 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 I <laughs> maybe it's only been real time, like ten minutes or whatever. Uh, it's just awkward, hard to navigate, not laggy or anything. That's that's too bad. I have been increasingly frustrated with the layouts that YouTube has been rolling out. They like specifically changed the entire website to make it more mobile friendly and they just made it stupid. They made it worse. Mm. Do I... What is set gene? You have no alternate gene? Enter a secret code. I, I don't have that either. That was an accident. Retrieve. Oh, okay, I see. That's... All right, that all makes sense. Hmm. Breeding them would end up with something just pretty similar to the Roygo, because I'm I would be using largely, largely the same things. Like this, this almost makes me think the Roygo is a Rodask and a Primagon, so it's like the R O and the G O R I G O N. It makes me wonder uh, if the Exit. Exit's what I'm trying to do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, game. Ex exit. Exit. There. Oh my god, that for some reason was just not working well. Alright, let me look at the, like, Pokedex style thing. Hmm. Read? Oh, do I have to write? I have to write my own? Hmm. I, uh, I have nothing, nothing to write about it. I guess I can make note of what I combined to get to it. I wish that that was something it kept track of for me. But yeah, I'm wondering if, uh, it wasn't a, such an endless, endless amount of combinations. If that one monster is more or less just gone now because of, because of the way that I chose to combine them. He just, his genes got lost in the mix. Uh, that could be the case, that every time you breed it, like, if it had two parent monsters, it's just pulling one of those genes. So it's not like you start with a monster that had two parents and then, like, a starter monster, and then you breed it and end up with all three. I think it's it randomly selects one of those, and then you're back down to combining two again. That's based on, like, a very, very limited window of experience here, but that is my guess of how this fits together. Shit! <laughs> hmm. Swapping is the best way to go for leveling up and everything, but goddamn, I don't want to have that much damage dealt because then I have to run back so friggin' often. Maybe we just power through and try and make it to town or something. YouTube was more mobile friendly before it tried to be mobile friendly. Now it's not mobile friendly or desktop friendly. They turned the site into a useless pile of shit. It's like the behind the scenes creator stuff that you use for managing uploads and everything like that is so broken and useless right now. It's the most frustrating goddamn thing. I hate it. Interesting. I just realized I guess I'm just fighting monsters. Or. Yeah, that's how Pokemon works too. I sooner or later I'll, I'll I'll run into like trainers, I'm sure. Like this guy, this guy standing right here is probably going to play more like a trainer and that I'll actually have to do battle. Damn it, you guys weren't kidding about swimming across. I can't swim and I sure as hell ain't going to try. Say kid, if you take care of that blub up on the bridge there, I'll give you what we were looking for in the first place. Where, where I don't, I don't, I, apparently I wasn't paying close enough attention to what you guys were doing. The bridge is slippery when wet. Uh, I probably, I probably want to level up more before I go taking on the, the Wallax, the Snorris. Some sort of Snorlax Walrus is what's going on there. That's my, my conclusion. Uh, am I making my way towards town? Or just, I feel like I'm just going off somewhere completely random. Morning, sea monsters have been spotted in the area. Please turn back. Well, first I'm going to fight this dumb dog. I think is how I'm, I'm going to start things off here. I wish I could see what level this 
it was before I chose my guy. That would make things just a tiny bit, tiny bit easier. Most everything I'm finding so far, too, seems like very boring. Like they would be normal types in Pokemon. Well, let's take a quick look beyond the bridge, shall we? Just to see what kind of crazy kooky shit's going on beyond there. I do want this. This one is the first one that looks non quite exactly like a normal type. I guess just because he's red. Red feels like fire, even though I'm pretty much guaranteed that's not the case of what's going on there. What is the limit of number of uh, things I can lug around with me, I wonder? Oh god damn. Can I catch that and then breed that with something? Because that. The results of that would be insane. Oh, shit. And also massive. Like, this little Rodask. I don't I don't think this little guy is combining with that giant son of a bitch back there. I don't really see it happening. Ah, he got the attack on me first. I just, I just felt like I was kind of stuck battling. Uh, let's get someone else in there. Well, yeah, let's get my, let's get my Roygo. Still, he'll get attacked right away, right? Shit. Okay, he should be able to finish him off, though. I think. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to see what. Oh, come on, man! You better not get fainted. Damn you! All right, well he's out. Ah, uh, I wonder if he'll still gain experience. I didn't really get to see what Spore Shot did. Hmm. I guess I'll send out this random little pup. He's probably about to get his ass kicked as well. Oh, he only knows Spore Shot. Well, it worked. It killed something. <laughs> hey, he still gained experience, even though that guy fainted. Cool. I'll take it. Seems like it uh, isn't deserved. You died. Doesn't seem like you really pulled your weight in that scenario, does it? I guess I'll just go for the ambiguity. Hopefully he's fast, and fast enough, strong enough that you can take this thing out. Did it start hurt? Can you re can you encounter things that are starting out hurt? That's kind of an interesting dynamic. I kind of just got to blast past all the monsters here. I hope I'm nice and close to town. I don't want to have to run all the way back again. Shit. Shit. Might just be stuck going back to town. Oh, it might have just started doing damage as soon as the animation for the attack happened rather than once the animation was done. That might have been all it was that threw me off. I didn't look at the the damage done until after the, the animation was complete. Oh, shit. Up at the, uh, I think up at that crossing is the way I have to go. I just gotta dodge all these monsters right now. Now all of a sudden, now there is too many of them sprinting around the map here. I can't deal with all this right now. Oh, also, wrong way. Uh, narrowly dodged through. Oh, shit. One more, one more encounter than I wanted to get into. I wouldn't mind making it back to try and breed the secret with something. I already have, uh, like, more... I've done m several different combinations already. I want to see what kind of new things I can make. The truth be told, I have maybe only found two different creations. And like, in a the same way I explained before, like the two in one thing. So in a less creative, less interesting way than I would have originally assumed. The worst thing is when you forget to turn on lock screen. <laughs> when And then you do the switch sideways and everything and the screen flips around on you. That is annoying because like looking at a horizontal video like YouTube on like the top one quarter of your phone screen would just be <laughs> the worst. It's like everything would be so tiny. You'd have to squint so much to just see anything worthwhile. Like a sideways full screen thing on a phone is decent. That's like pretty, pretty reasonable. You can actually like see and probably enough with that. All right, I'm carrying around too many monsters. Mrs. Nurse Happy, instead of Joy, maybe you can 
provide some assistance by mashing these things together until they make babies. And the secondary... Oh, I should have caught two of multiple things. Like, maybe I'll catch one more... I don't... I'm just gonna end up with this same thing again then. I was thinking if I had a Primagon, Primary, Rodas, Secondary, and then do it again flipped just to see what it comes up with. Well, let's get the Laz in there. I think these will this will provide something new and exciting. Oh shit, now he's legitimately like a sand slash or something. He looks badass. I like him. See ya! <laughs> I like that one. I uh, he's, He seems like a pretty cool Pokemon. Monster. Whatever the hell it is, it seems pretty cool. I think I got... I have to try. Uh, hey, he started out level 2, so maybe it averages the levels. I'm breeding two of the same thing. It'll just end up with the same thing, right? Yes. I just had to try it. I pretty much assumed that was like pretty much guaranteed going to be the case. What is this game? It is called Monster Crown, and it is about breeding monsters. It's like Pokemon, but you breed the monsters instead of them evolving. I probably... Do I want to leave this guy out as primary? I guess I will. I guess I'll try and level him up so I'm not just stuck with one one max level thing or one one high level thing that can actually defend itself i'll try and get a combo oh no do you know what i am gonna do i think i'm just gonna gun it for the big uh walrus thing and i'm gonna take that guy on and if i catch the walrus if i'm able to offer it a contract i'll try and uh combine that with the ambiguity yeah, that'd be pretty cool, right? Just to see, just to see what the hell kind of crazy shit it could come up with. If you could keep your primary or your parents and do like many multiple combinations and stuff, that would be great. I would be combining him with everything. He'd be getting laid all over the place, but unfortunately I can only do it the once, so we'll make do. <laughs> That's what he had to say. So it's, so it's either like a Walrus or a Walrus. A Walrus. Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, hopefully he doesn't do much damage. Huge bite. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I would have wanted the Ambigu to be the, the thing to try and offer the contract with. Fuck. That's not good. He has swiped twice now because I bred one with another bred one with another one. He's jelly belly. Increases defense. Oh shit, come on. They barely did any fucking damage. Just awful. Well you just keep jelly bellying. You you do like your hardened uh metapod style thing, and you don't take part in this fight at all. And maybe just very slowly chipping away, I'll get you down to a low enough Oh, he healed. This thing's insane. I want it. I want it on my team. What items do I have? I got nothing. I got nothing to, like, revive with, I don't think. Uh, Primagon, you're the only hope I have. Can I just, like, flee? Or will I just lose? Am I just gonna fucking die? Is everything gonna die? And then that's how this is gonna go for me? Spore shot. I'll tr I'll try and spore shot him. Oh fuck! He just keeps healing himself. This thing's way stronger than me. Might be the same level, but way way stronger. Oh, he's infected. The spore spore shot's sick. Oh fucking! I hate your shit though. I don't like it how much you actually heal with that. The infection does way more damage though. It must not be like stopped by the harden. Oh, you bastard. Most things are quite dead. He's never going to accept a contract. Hey, he's he's hurt by his infection a little bit more. Oh, you can flee. Take my offer. Take my offer. Oh, you can't. Can I not actually get this guy? I can't bring him onto my team. Well, this is a lost cause, I'd say. Can I just flee? 
That is, it is going to make that a real option for me. Good. Sat. Sorry, buddy. You, uh, you can deal with that. I'm, I'm peacing out. That's too much for me. Do I have anything that would stand a remote chance of winning a fight right now? No. No, not really, do I? Well, let's just go for it anyways. Let's see how, how you can hold up for yourself here. What do, what do I even have left? Rodus, you roadkill piece of shit, you're the only thing I have. Pokemon Go? I used to play Pokemon Go. It was really fun, like the summer it came out. Played it for like a couple months, for like a couple weeks, like religiously. I was doing it so, 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 so often, just all the time. And then it just petered out. I know they added more Pokemon and stuff like that, but it just kind of... It stopped being fun, I guess. It was almost too much of a chore. And and the main the main reason I stopped playing is my favorite time to play it was biking to work. Oh, did, did I just go back to the farm? Is everything full health? Okay, my favorite time to play it was going into work and I would hop on my bike, give myself some extra time and cruise on my bike to, to work and then stop along the way. You know, put a lot of kilometers on it to hatch eggs, and, and then I would cover a lot of ground to find a bunch of cool Pokemon and stuff. That was a lot of fun, and then they pushed an update that made it so that if you were going too fast, it would just assume you were in a car, and it wouldn't let you play. And so, then all you could do was walking, and then, what am I going to do? Uh, you, you go walk for an hour, and you don't cover that much ground, and you don't find enough new things, and so with that... Now when I think back on it, that's what totally killed the game for me. I stopped playing at that point, which was too bad. Too bad, because the game was good. It still probably is. It's probably still as fun, but I think I think you would have to have more of a reason to, to be moving around to cover more ground and stuff to make it worth it. Or, like now where I live, if I went for a, a walk for a kilometer, I'm sure I would encounter a lot. But where I was living at the time, when it was like peak popularity... There was, there was nothing. It was way out in some residential area, and, like, if I did, like, a 500-meter circle or whatever, there's, like, I would encounter, like, two Pidgeys and one Rattata or something, and it would just... Yeah. So that's what happened with Pokemon Go for me. I'm just gonna jack this guy up as much as I can <laughs> before fighting this fucking walrus thing. I think it might be super effective against my guy here too so I guess I'm just kind of grinding for levels I might try and uh, level up some other other one of my monsters here too but what I think would be the best idea is wait until I encounter something that's a closer level to the things I'm trying to level up and then do the swap uh, does that make the most sense I don't know right now in my mind that makes the most sense see like right now now uh, but it's shared experience either way, so maybe this is silly. Because now he could actually maybe lose this battle, whereas if I did it the other way, uh, my, my my main guy might die, which is super annoying, but at least he would, you know, be able to take it. <sighs> yeah, this seems like it, it's the wrong strategy. God, not a lot of damage done, is it? When it says resist, I'm resisting? I'm resisting this thing's attack? Whatever, I'm throwing something else out there too. I like this. I like Sia. Sia can go out there and take part in the battle too. I wouldn't mind seeing him level up a little bit. So you you can build up huge attacks by doing a lot of a lot of swapping. Yeah, I think it makes most sense to have someone go out first and then pull them out. Secret again. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember what I combined the secret with. I think it was a secret and a Laz got me the cool sand slash thing that I got going on. I wouldn't want to make the mistake and do the wrong thing though. Perfect. Got that guy a new level up. Not very showy when your your monsters level up. 
That little scale tips up and then it just kind of is over. Huge historical humble jumble next to my high school, so if I walk home, I can hit like 20 Pokestops and 10 gyms. Oh, that's sick then. See, that makes it way better. Uh, that would... Th then you would like be able to do it daily, at least once a day, possibly twice a day, and then get like a ton out of it, because you would be raking in Pokeballs, find all sorts of Pokemon, people are probably uh, planting the lures there for you and everything, so that would be great. That would be way better. What level do I think I need to be to fight the Walrus? <laughs> I love that his design is just a walrus and that they did so little to try and give him like a different name. Hey, the thing actually does jump the fence. It doesn't just phase through it. So I guess they might actually see you coming and then like decide to charge you. Like the, the monsters are like, ah, yeah, I could kill that for sure. I wasn't expecting to have to grind so much. I was hoping the game would progress a little bit smoother, but hey, Pokemon's pretty grindy too. Right now it would be quite a lot easier if I encountered things more often. I guess I'll zigzag my way back towards the farm. And then... Just, uh, just so I can heal while I'm on my way there anyways. I would rather be a little bit more hurt than I am right now. Ooh, I'm coming for you, secret. Hmm, do I try and capture another one of these things? The crossbreeding is fun. But I don't want to just keep crossbreeding the same, like, three or four things over and over again, do I? Hmm. You just try and throw down a contract. Uh, I, I feel like a monster successfully recruiting should count for experience. Like, maybe only specifically the monster, even if you swapped out, only the monster who last saw? Maybe, maybe that would be better? Because right now, I mean, I guess you gain a monster for doing the recruitment, but I would like it if, uh, if it counted for a little bit more. Do I play The Sims? Not in a long time. Sims is super fun. Pretty much just Sims 3. I went and bought it for myself a few years ago when it was new. Newish. Probably probably at least a year old, maybe more, because I'm pretty sure I bought it for like 20 bucks. Put an insane amount of hours into it. And it didn't like stop being fun or anything. I just kinda like moved on. Just had new new games to be played. But no, Sims is dope. I want to see if I can leave something at the farm, and if I do that, whether or not it like levels up or something. So I I'm gonna combine the Primagon and the Secret this time, and I'm leaving you at the farm. We'll see if you like level up or something by being left there. That could be that could be neat. Primagon, secondary. So. He's gonna be level four and level one, so I feel like he'll uh, he'll definitely lose some levels from that. That guy's cool. The secret seems to make cool combinations so far. The Primker. So you can. Oh, that's not that's not just secret. I was thinking naming exclusively was done by by taking like the first and second half of names or whatever. That doesn't seem to be totally how that one was named. And he did end up level two. So I think it sp splits it in half and rounds down. So like four plus one, five, half that's 2.5, rounds down to two. That's how I think breeding levels are calculated. I, I'll keep trying to level this guy up a little bit so that it's not all on the ambiguous to take on the Whalerus. And specifically, he pretty much needs to be a higher level. Good thing he has that Vicious or else that wouldn't have worked. Uh, he pretty much is going to need to be a higher level to take on the Whalerus, I think. Being level 8 versus level 8 is not going to do anything. Well, better not go far from the farm because I'm going to have to go back quite quickly for a heal. Oh, someone hopped the fence. Someone come to me. Come, come, 
God. Couldn't. The double fence. Can't cross the double fence. Why can't I just capture that little bird? Why can't I mash these monsters together with those birds that just come flying in now and again? So I guess there are animals and monsters in this world. There is a bit of both. Wow, not very strong, are ya? Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of infecting. Hopefully it's successful. See, it does... Yeah, it does damage on its own and a terrible infection. Okay, so that's a pretty strong move. It's just, uh, if you were a less, like, shitty of a monster, then it would be much, much better. Oh, it did so little. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were able to kill something for yourself there. I, I think the experience share is, like, perfect, though, right? They would each get two experience in that scenario rather than... It's splitting between the number of monsters. It's awesome. It's like Pokemon times Dragon Quest monster. Hmm. I have not really played uh, Dragon Quest before. I know of it. Is there monster breeding in Dragon Quest monster? Or is it like it in another way? Because this, the, like, the hook of this game is all about the way that you can breed the monsters together, which is super cool. I could really, I could really do with another attack. If I can breed him with the walrus, he would have so many sweet attacks. I really, really want that. What, uh, what level I got yet? Just level five. Damn. <laughs> this not even good. My monsters suck. Uh, I just gotta hope I can get Ambiguo up good enough that he can actually go take on the walrus by himself, I think. <sighs> I was thinking, should I not put him out first, though? Because then that's, like, putting him at the most risk. Have him as, like, a finisher. But then if the Whalerus just keeps doing a bunch of his stupid, annoying heals, then that's not going to do much either. Fuck, the game does not make it easy. Hmm. Yes, that didn't work, did it? Uh, <laughs> guess what, Roygo? You're, you're going to try and do this battle yourself here. Even though I have very little faith in you, you haven't proven to be very strong at all. And that body tackle is relatively strong, isn't it? Monster breeding. Breeding two monsters gets you a brand new one, but you lose the parents. That is exactly how this game works. That's also a thing in Dragon Monster Quest? How have I never heard of this game? Dragon Quest Monster. How have I never heard of that? Because that sounds cool. And that's exactly what this is, and I was super pumped about this because I thought it was like a totally new, totally new concept that this developer came up with. Didn't necessarily, we're like just like the first one to seemingly do it well. Oh, you get the expansion packs for The Sims. I got one expansion pack ever. I got, um,. Jobs or something. It like let you it let your Sims get like careers, and I remember being very disappointed with like what it actually had in it versus what was advertised. Like I remember it being super underwhelming and what you could actually do with that. Oh come on, we actually got him. Yes. Um. Yeah, and then I never bought another expansion after that. And then I think I got a whole bunch of, like, aesthetic customization stuff, like different hairdos and clothes and stuff, through potentially shady means. Hard to remember exactly how I acquired them all. <laughs> and I, I never bothered with the expansions again, because I threw all the, like, all the modding and stuff like that, and, and the, you know, the slightly shadiness, I feel like I got more out of it than the expansion ever offered, so I just kind of stuck with that stuff. Um, yeah, I, because I think I spent, like, I spent, like, 20 bucks on the base game, and then, like, 40 bucks on an expansion or something when it came out new. And so then that was ir very irritating to me. Do I bother combining any of these? I don't think I will. Ugh. Broken computer broke along with my heart. Sucks losing a computer, especially if you like don't have backups of stuff. Make sure you back stuff up. They had like three games for the Game Boy Color and two for the DS for being Dragon Quest spin-off. It's not a well-known series. Yeah, because I've definitely heard of Dragon Quest. 
Uh, I don't think I've played Dragon Quest, but I definitely know of it. Isn't it in Fortune Street, that like Monopoly Mario game, isn't that a crossover with Dragon Quest? Or am I getting series confused? Because if so, that's like the closest thing to a Dragon Quest game I've played is Fortune Street, which is super random and weird, but that game was actually quite fun. It was a it was a pretty decent game, I'd say. I think I wanna I wanna get my goo guy leveled up once more, get him to level ten, and then I'll try and deal with the walrus again. Pretty sketched out by how strong the walrus is. I wasn't expecting the game to force me to grind quite so hard. Like pretty pretty excessive amount of grinding right now. Because they made that first major thing you encounter fucked up strong. <laughs> it is, that that is the Fortune Street thing. Okay, cool. Then I totally know the series. But that also confirms I've literally never played a Dragon Quest game <laughs> and definitely, definitely haven't played Dragon Quest Monster. I'll look into it. Thank you. Thank you for the tip on that one because this is just like a demo, right? So the game could end at like a very unexpected weird spot just because it's it's not a full game um, oh I got an idea here I said switch back out to this guy to build up my my synergy thing and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again just because I think it would be fun and let's let's get one, well, three is good enough. I'm sure you can kill this thing no problem at this point. <laughs> Probably could have killed it way easier a while ago. I For a second I was doing it so that to try and get more experience having that the weaker guy do the finishing move, but I keep forgetting that doesn't matter in this. Experience is always split evenly. But yeah, it is just a demo, so it, there's not going to be like a crazy endless amount of content in this game, so whenever it's comes to a close maybe uh maybe dragon quest monster something new and cool to check out you never know uh i'm just gonna try and uh contract this guy i haven't ran into one of those in a while and i think there's one remaining last combination i haven't done yet at least one so i figure i'll give that a quick try ah there's probably a couple because i don't think i've combined I, I know for sure one one last combination I haven't had. Oh, come on. It's a level one thing. You should just stick it out and fight it then. <laughs> I didn't notice it first. I loved each of the packs I got. It gets better and better the more you have. And I think I did get that impression with The Sims. Is that if you had, like, whatever it was. They put out, like, 20 expansions. If you had, like, three, four, six of them or whatever, that it would just keep improving the, the overall game and experience and everything, but that was just like a level of investment I wasn't willing to put in. I, f I could feel my overall interest in the game kind of like diminishing at that point anyways. And so I guess when it came time for asking for like gifts or whatever around holidays, I guess I asked for other things. But I had like at least a year where I put in like a ton of time <laughs> into The Sims. The Sims is sweet very solid series ah you can you can fight your way through this one guy yeah it makes it more complex and interesting there is a cool channel here on YouTube who I guess I haven't watched a ton of but I do just kind of like know their content through trying to keep up to date with different youtubers and stuff captain sauce I'm pretty sure he has had like a mainstay sim series on his channel since his channel started. He's done like hundreds of videos on it and he's constantly combining expansions and mods and stuff in crazy ways to like add a bunch of complexity to the game. So if uh, you don't have a go-to like sims channel that you like to watch then I would recommend checking out Captain Sauce. Got a new computer, was ecstatic to be able to play Sims again, only to find Origin had deleted my account. Oh, what the fuck? There was no way to retrieve that? That's some BS. It wasn't just like a forgotten password, it was just a missing account? That's rough. 
I forgot I had left a thing on the farm. Let's check out the farm critter. Oh, he's still... Is he gaining experience by being here? He's still level 3. But I don't know what his experience was at before. Oh wait, I have not combined... <laughs> this is the secret, secret and Laz. This was secret. Oh, this was secret and Primadon. This was secret and Laz. So I, I'm pulling this guy. I'm pulling him from the farm. Uh, whoops, I'm doing this wrong. I'm pulling Rodas. <laughs> is that what his name? Am I supposed to say that differently? Because Rodas. He's like a rodent something. Rodent with a fat ass. And you, I think, will be a totally new combination. So let's see, let's see what we get out of this one. Oh my god. Is his face made out of funguses? His face and his butt made out of funguses? LDA. Lita. You are the worst. That is the worst thing we've created. What a terrible looking monster and what a terrible name oh my god <laughs> i hate it <laughs> i hate this one what a terrible monster ah oh, you just suck nothing about the guys i mixed together had anything to do with mushrooms i guess the laz he's got weird crackly skin i didn't realize he was like mushroom based or something if you try to find the monster or a dragon quest monster for the game boy color the game went by a different name it's called dragon warrior monster okay i'm sure if i look up like spin-offs of dragon quest i'd be able to track it down there wasn't an email or phone number or anything to contact oh damn that sucks i i that's devastating to lose an account like that that's some of the the risks of like DRM stuff like Steam and Origin. I know a lot of people are really serious about DRM free so that you permanently own a game. I just try to trust and have faith that things like that don't happen. That's really devastating to hear that that did happen. I'm very, I'm very sorry. That's brutal. Uh, it's confusing, but that's Japan for you. <laughs> I thought you meant because the game is in Japanese. You just mean the way that like there's weird different names and stuff oh you're not even level 10 yet stupid never buy from origin i never have i think i have like four games on origin and they were all weird free promos that came up at various times that i jumped on so i do have some origin games but i've literally never bought from them uh yeah because ea is stupid <laughs> i don't really want I shouldn't say the company as a whole is stupid, but like, I don't know, I, I don't have a lot of faith in Origin, and apparently I shouldn't, so... The, the eyes of the lady that you go to breed are creepy? I did not notice. Oh, come on, baby. You better, you better take a contract. This went much smoother when this thing's not using high... Huge bite. Ah, oh, you can't. You can't take the big fat walrus. All right, well, I'm killing him then. He's just, uh, get, get out of here, big fat walrus. Glad to have that done with. 16 XP. Woo-woo. Where can I find the Monster Crown demo? Oh, I did actually just pick this up today. It's, um, you have to support the, the Kickstarter. I dug around. I thought, because uh, I had seen... The demo show up on YouTube a few times. I assumed they'd thrown it up on Itch or Game Jolt or something. You do have to support the Kickstarter and then they send you the demo. The game looked cool enough that I and I hadn't supported anything on Kickstarter in a while that I could remember, so I just went for it. Thanks, kid, you're a real peach. I doubt the boss is gonna care much for this thing. It's totally blank, except for this letter D on the inside cover. Nothing but garbage. It's your garbage now, bub. Now I've got a split. What kind of trash did you give me? How do I... <laughs> what did you give me? <laughs> Saving is probably important. Should probably do a quick save. Hopefully it works in the game properly. Uh, I have no idea what he gave me. Oh my god. Oh, I can turn down the volume a little bit. Good. It's been blasting in my ears this whole time. Probably louder than I would have liked to have had it, so I'm glad to be done with that. I don't know what- someone- I guess someone somewhere might want a piece of paper with the, the letter D scribbled into it, and then I'll- and then I can give it to them, you know? 
and I'm sure they'll be thrilled. Roygo seems like a bit, a bit lame. I wonder if, well, he's getting to be a decent level at this point though. God, he's so not strong. <laughs> I should uh, maybe send someone else out as my my new front man though. I'll get him to level seven. Level seven seems like a decent little sturdy baseline level to be at. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I'll, I'll level him up for a tiny bit longer. Oh, does Captain Sauce do three or four? Good question, actually. Um, offhand, I would have said three. I Sims 4 is not that old, though, right? And he's been doing it for a couple of years, I think, so I bet you he started with three. He probably, he probably upgraded to four at some point. These gangsters, gangsters think they're tough. We've got our own plan. So there's gangsters and thugs, and we're not interested in any interference. Got it? Ah, I'm actually fighting a trainer for a different difference here. Whoa. This is a weird tomato snake. I think I... I liked the Sia and the Primker. I wouldn't mind one of them getting some experience. Let's get the Sia out there. Sia seemed cool. What the shit? This is level 20. Well, I wasn't ready for a big jump like that. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Pre predate? I'm guessing it's like a like a predator. Pre it's just a very uncomfortable word to try and say. Pre predate. It was a vicious, vicious attack. Cobrio. Yeah, you just keep doing that. Just keep. I mean, if you when he finally does lay down an attack, he's gonna waste me. But uh, pedal imprint. Yeah, <laughs> and it boosted his attack to use that move. Well, shit, this seems like a good way to die. You use your, your quick spore shot. Oh, fuck. Well, can I just flee then? Because everything's going to die. See you in a bit, Deloy. Can I, just, can I just flee rather than watching this play out? I have too many monsters to go through for all this garbage. Maybe Lita, maybe Lita won't be useless after all. Maybe there'll be something you can do. Oh good, you can just bail. I hope I'm really close to town. I'll try and go a different direction, see if there's a town here and then I can maybe heal. You've reached the end of the demo. Thanks so much for playing. Oh. Well then, I guess I can't even reach the town at all. In that case, I do want to mess around with the breeding just a little bit more. Uh, because I, I, I'm probably not planning to come back to this game until it's like properly out. I don't think it would be worthwhile redoing it with a different starter or anything like that. Deloy is going to be bummed. He's going to come back and it's just going to be over. <laughs> but we're, we'll go back. We'll go back to the breeder thing and we'll we'll try and make some cool combos the secret was cool I think I want to try and get another secret and try and combine that with my starter guy I could try and combine my starter with one of the things that I already have one of my other one of the combo combo guys but uh I think, I, I think I'd rather try and combine it with one of the base things instead. Uh, these things are kind of cool. The radisks. Weird little rat. I think I'd, I'd rather combine it with the secrets. Let's slap them around. Oh, do you know what? I should just, I should just dish out uh, contracts like crazy just to play around with it. I'll just contract like everything I run into just to give myself as much combining breeding power as possible and then we can kind of put a lid on this by trying to make as many weird ass creatures as possible see he looks a little messed up i wouldn't have called him like uh fungus or infected or anything but he turned into disgusting it looks like the demigorgon from stranger things but like like those demigorgon dogs there literally are demigorgon dogs in that show aren't there i don't even might be talking out of my ass. Might be totally wrong about that one. But 
It is what he looks like with his open predator face and a million gross little shit sticking out of him. I just want a couple secrets and then I'll head back. One, one secret at least. Give me one secret at least. I'm very good at keeping them. I promise I won't say it out loud where other people can hear. <laughs> you have to actually face it to initiate the battle, which is kind of funny. Could have just stayed facing that direction and it wouldn't have counted for anything. I just end up spamming the buttons trying to skip through those screens. They stick around longer than I wanted. So bummed I can't make the ambiguous walrus. Yes, 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 hop the fence. Hop the fence, you stupid dumb bimbo. You bimbo animal, yes. This is what I wanted. But I've pretty much lost track with what combinations result in what. So it's gonna be a lot of guesswork trying not to duplicate things. Luckily, based on their general look and color, you can kind of guess a little bit. Oh, shit. I should go try and fight that giant sea monster. It's probably going to be way too high of a level for me to bother with. Also, I wonder <laughs> if someone committed like really hard to grinding in this game and managed to grind up a monster high enough to kill that level 20 guy. If there's anything that lays beyond that, but I think it's purposely in place there as like a you cannot pass this and maybe the game's set up in a way that you can't uh like level up individual monsters beyond a certain level or something like that like 10 or 15 is the cap probably not 10 because i think i've seen ambigu leveling up yeah he's a nasty looking freak isn't he but there's the game probably limits you in several ways <laughs> he does the same thing the walrus did uh, he's probably gonna be like level like 50 though the what the shit was he the merc the mercer sermer it's like a weird mean eyeless gyarados type thing i'll make you an offer you can't refuse though he refused thought he couldn't didn't think he had it in him well in that case i think i'll just attack him until he kills me Oh, he skull slammed me. I'm probably toast. <laughs> yep. Yeah, toast. Very toast. All right. We flee. There, I thought it wasn't going to let me. Ah, oh, now I got to walk all the way back to the farm, though. Could have almost just let it kill me. And then I, and then I could have just teleported back. I did not think this is what I ran into. Considering accepted. What is the max? When will I officially be carrying too many things? Too many monsters. Because I have a lot going on right now. Mm, I'll, I'll contract this guy just because. And maybe another lax if I see it. I'm trying to remember what I'm currently carrying with me. Oh, I think I do have a couple of those. All right, I'm going to stop trying to encounter things altogether. And we'll just run back to the farm. Do a quick juke around him there. Don't want no more. No more monsters, please. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's where the walrus guy was. And it's just a matter of time. Can you, can you breed them when they're dead? When they're defeated or destroyed or whatever the terminology is. Do I have to go heal them up first? I think I'll just try and take them straight to the breeders. Oh! Oh, I pulled that thing out of the farm. I think it was leveling up. I think it was slowly, slowly gaining experience at the farm. I think, like, in the barn or whatever, when you deposit things at the farm. So that thing had more than zero experience. I don't remember ever giving it any of my own. I think I withdrew it, though. Oh, shit. Things are automatically just teleporting me here. So either they are... Hmm. Either they are getting, like, caught with some experience, or they are gaining some here. Interesting. All right. Primary ambiguity. 
Wait, can you not? Oh, he's dead. Is it because he's dead or is it because you just can't with your primary? Oh, you're right. Her eyes are fucked. <laughs> her eyes are so massive. Weird. Don't like it. Exiting the screen doesn't fucking work. I've managed to do it. I know I've done it before. Just let me fucking do it. There we go. Oh, there's some serious mad glitchiness going around trying to exit that screen. Super duper frustrating. Uh, I think they have a Discord though. I'll hop over to this the Discord with a, a bug report on that one because... Oh my god, that's mind-numbingly frustrating. Yes, quick rest for me, please. God damn it. Well, this is how you stretch out like an hour-long demo into into much, much more content. Just repeat sections as much as possible. Get stuck in conversation loops. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I'm trying not to touch my face a whole bunch, but like right here. It's just driving me crazy try and ignore it <laughs> I think maybe I just can't breed my starter guy which is a bit of a bummer I can you literally just can't breed the dead ones so that's fair none of these are what I wanted uh, pick up a secret and he will be my secondary I was most interested to see this thing combine with the primary, because he seems to make the coolest combos overall. I'll just make a weird goopy... What the hell? A weird goopy eyeless ghost or something? The Ambercur. Nope. Nope. Just leave it as is. Well, that thing was kind of gross, wasn't it? Alright. This guy is... What, what, are, what are combinations I haven't made? This, I don't think I've made a Laz and... And uh, a Rhodes, Rhodask. Oh damn it! That is what that is what made that thing, isn't it? Well, I hate it. Oh, the name gets randomized by splicing their names together. All right. Well, I thought this guy was kind of lame. And what if I slap him together with this kind of lame guy? Let's see how many new random creatures I can make. So that's new. That's a new one. I think what's happening is it, it's just pulling things together in, in particular ways. The way I kind of suspected that it might have been working. But we can just keep splicing them together. Let's see what kind of weird shit we can get. I still don't like you. So you are getting bred with a secret because they're cool and they seem to make cool combos. And, oh shit! Oh shit, it is working in a new, different way. It starts making nonsense words for names, but holy fuck. That actually does mean the combinations aren't the whole two-in-one thing I described. I think it's... Holy shit. This game just got deep. What do I do? What do I combine next? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I want to first breed every possible just base level thing that I have. Um, oh, I think Rodask and the Secret made this thing, right? Uh, did I do a Laz and a Secret? I'm so, so, so lost track. This might be a new combo, though. Oh, shit. Okay, no, it's back to being how I suspected the combinations worked, I think. All right, well, let's just do uh, as many random combos as possible. Crazy weird ghost thing combined with the sand slash thing, because he, those are the two coolest ones I have right now, I think. Well, not necessarily, but that one is a totally unique. It's, it has the genes of a, a monster that nothing else does. Uh, it's, it, I wish these monsters had unique names though, so that you can kind of learn them over time instead of rather than just like the starting thing having it so what if I select you and breed you with this thing because I'm pretty sure you already have road ask genes in you oh okay. so you can just you can end up with the two combinations and then it's less than exciting 
But I might as well, I'm gonna breed everything down to, to like nothing. See what we can end up with at the end there. A cool, a, a red Laz. Oh, there might be weird triangles of combinations then, or like multiple possible results. Maybe it depends on what you make the primary and the secondary. Oh, that's probably, that probably is important. Then I'll combine you with you. Going from like least interesting potential combos to the more interesting ones. All right. <laughs> His name is just RC, named after the world's best cola. And obviously, you two are the two coolest ones, so we're gonna breed you to see what kind of shit we can end up with here. Back to the ghost again. Hey, Dayloy. We uh, basically we reached the end of the demo, so now I'm just breeding everything and anything together. That's your last monster? Yeah, I I know, I have two monsters left. I want to, I want to breed them together. I want to breed my, my last two guys together here. Ah, won't even let me. So in the end, <laughs> I took like 20 monsters or whatever and bred them down into Amker. Oh, that literally was, I am out. And he's just a gross red blob. Well, the game is cool, definitely some potential there, but that is everything I can do with it right now. Uh, I wish there was more to aid me in how the combinations work and stuff like that. Like, I have this handbook with an insane amount of combinations in it probably all of a sudden. Oh, and it shows every single one, every single one, and I would have to make notes of what it took. Ah, see, that's annoying. I wouldn't I wouldn't bother with any of that. So I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's okay. Oh, itchy nose, driving me crazy. Um, yeah, the game seems cool. That was a, that was a neat little demo. A pretty short little demo, but they, they have gone way beyond the amount they were trying to raise on Kickstarter. It's like 40,000 and they were trying to raise like 4,000 or something. They have a huge amount of stretch goals. They have come up with a lot of cool stuff they want to add. The newest one I think they're working towards is basically adding like a Nuzlocke mode to this game. I think they could do a little bit more to make the battles uh, quicker and maybe more exciting because right now they kind of slog. It's a little bit slow. I think it's because it's supposed to have like a mobile friendly interface as far as I can tell. Interesting game overall. Cool-ish. <laughs> I like it just because I like the style of Pokemon games and crossbreeding and stuff seems really cool. Now more than anything, I'm just really interested in checking out Dragon Quest Monster because maybe that'll be really sweet if it's a fully fledged out game. I don't know. It could be something I look into. You came back right at the end, unfortunately. It You didn't miss much. I bought the walrus, walked like five feet beyond him, and there was a, a sign that said the demo's over, so you, didn't, you did not really miss anything whatsoever. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out, everyone who stopped by. Wow, worst timing, Primarina. Prime, Primarina? Is that a hack, Rom? No, it is a demo of a new game being kickstarted there's a link in the description if you want to check out the kickstarter and you have to be a backer to have access to the demo but uh unfortunately i am just closing it down right now so pretty unfortunate timing sorry about that and that's about as long as i was hoping to stream for anyway so i'm gonna shut her down thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you again soon